How's it going, everybody? And welcome to the Noob Network. It is the one and only, the Noob and Hard. If you're new to the channel, thank you for tuning in. If you are a returning visitor, subscriber, welcome back.
All right, here we go. So we're back in it. Just gonna do the creation of my character. Decided to go with like this older looking style of mage, even though the the character itself is mm, gonna be playing like a young guy. So he's like full of wisdom. That's my goal at least. That was the look I was going for. Opening scene fight. R1 to attack to select the target. While attacking, press circle to stop the attack. Press circle to stop the attack. While attacking, press circle to stop the attack. I don't think I'm doing it. Nope, that's definitely not what I wanted. Oh, I think I know what I was doing wrong. I think I know what I was doing wrong. Okay, these are just camera things. We know how to do that. There's another one. Perry. L1. All right, didn't get that. Ah, that's the timing. That's what that is. That's the timing. Okay. I can use it for blocking, period, but I guess if you get perfect timing, it's a parry. Press up to switch to a ranged weapon. If I press R1. I can't. R2. Okay, okay. I'm assuming I'm gonna learn all that stuff, but R1 is was the basic range attack. So up on the D-pad is a switch from melee to range or basically do two different weapon styles. Is that the double tapping? Oh no. It was a holding press. That's what it was. I'm here to get my sword back. Just go through all of my skills. Right, this is gonna take some time to get used to. Didn't the old man just like get dubbed up in the cutscene? That two L's for him now. Oh, I was dreaming. Oh, okay. After all 
these years, the memory of that day returned like How a nightmare. How do I nightmare. close this? Hit that button. Nope. This button? Nope. Close. That, that's, that's the start button. Oh, it's a hold. Okay. You know what we gotta call ourselves. It's new. It's new. We'll go capital B. I like capital B. Actually, it's new. Except nobody should have that name. Sure, I'll help open the door. Whoa, are you all right? Did you have that nightmare again? Yes, it's off. Please, don't feel guilty. The Elder wouldn't want you to feel this way forever. Come on, why don't you go out and get some fresh air? Oh, right. Lottie just left to go to Moonshade Town. You should follow her. I don't understand why they don't... Why a lot of games create characters like this where they don't give them... A voice Money makes my arm hurt. I'll bet Lottie morphed. If you want to catch up to her, you'll have to morph too. You have a script that we have to choose from. So how come we can't get voice? Because she asked for it too. Send a button to open up the map. Guess I'm clicking on this because this is where we're going. Okay, okay, okay. That we just had to look at it. All right. All right. Let's get going. I guess you're following me then. They go flying well. Now the inside of that house or tavern or mountain does not make it look like this is what your outside is gonna look like. But anywho. Oh, in the menu you can check out various content, open the codex to check out the rewards. Not gonna do that right now. In the case targets you need to talk to, interact with, or defeat. Aww, I okay. The map. Abitura, why are you here? Oh, I was just about to go back and get it. Thanks. Where are you going to Mushe Town? Yeah, see, it's oh, annoying. I need to repair something in Crescent Town. Since you're here already, do you want to go to the training grounds with me? It's been a while since you've seen some Absolutely. Action. I like the way she said that. It's nothing too serious or urgent. Besides, today is the day when Gigantrite passes by Wisperian. Wisperian will be full of energy today. So let's take it easy. Why don't you take this chance to try out a different weapon? You can't keep using that broken sword forever. Then we can go to Moonshade Town. What do you say? Now, let's go. Yeah, I'd really prefer my character to have a voice next to jump. Seems like Clay is here too, given the special occasion. Today's the day where the massive divine beast called Gigantrite comes by. That that the floating whale in the in the sky. What are you doing? Let's go inside. All right, so I'm choosing the plan is like daggers. And a wand. That's my plan. Oh, I'm surprised to see anyone here today. Want to try out some weapons? 
Yes. At the training grounds, you can try out different You're weapons these weapons, and see right? which one you Let like best. You. Well, I'm sure you already know you can equip up to two weapons. Try out different weapons and find a weapon that you like. Grey sword, sword and shield, or at least a sword. The sword and shield combination is great for high defense and unique method of crowd patrol. Daggers. Daggers fine style specializes in stealth and disrupting enemies with poison damage. It helps you quickly sneak up behind enemies. Shield continues poison damage and deliver deadly blows. I don't want to do that and I know I don't want to do the crossbow. The crossbow enables you to fight in style. With fast movements and a relentless base of attacks. Staff. I want to do a wand, but I guess staff is the same thing. The staff puts the very elements of creation at your fingertips with it. You can unleash explosive magical attacks that deal significant damage. Use area magic to turn the tides of battle, even when surrounded by multiple. Oh, wand. Here we go. Here we go. The wand is a support weapon that helps you heal. And buff your allies in addition to ensuring your party survival you can cast curse magic to weaken enemies and maximize the damage dealt by your allies it's especially useful in boss raids so support I, it looks like i can do damage still with it it looks like i can still do damage i'm gonna yeah let me okay equip the weapon of your choice of your voice and destroy the practice dummies ah oh, you're new to these weapons right let me teach you oh oh equip open character info okay Available equipment, select equipment, and press X to equip the swap. Okay. Swap weapons set to equip a second weapon type. Swap weapon sets to equip a second weapon type. Okay. Your stats change depending on the weapon you have equipped. All right. Base damage. All right. 3160. That's a great sword. Close the character window and learn. Okay. 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 All right, I want the daggers, which my damage goes down a lot. Okay, now swap, right? So I get to swap. They said press up to swap. No, now there's triangle. Unequip. Swords, great swords, and daggers are weapons used in melee. Nope. Nope. Go back. Swap weapons. Okay. Oh. Swords are used with shields, so sword wielders typically stand on the front lines to protect others. Do I have to leave out of that? Swap, and then go back into it? I think that's what I have to do. Yep. Yes, that's second weapon. Oh! I didn't have to swap at all. So what you do is you go here, collect the weapon. So oh, hold on. I think I did have to swap. Okay. What does this show what weapon set I'm in? This is two. Okay. Two I want to be the one. Right. Holding triangle swaps, and I want that to be one. 
two, one. Two, one. Here we go. No, I don't have. See, I don't have a second weapon. Bro, the controls. Either I can't read or. Getting this understanding is crazy. Unequipped from second set. No. Triangle. Triangle. Okay. Tap. It's a tap to his equip in slot one. Hold for slot two. That's crazy. Okay. When you change weapons, you will need to reconfigure your skills. Oh. All right. Okay. On defending against an enemy fury attack with a defense skill, each weapon activates a special effect. Okay. When triggered, active skills can attack enemies or provide other effects for you and your party. All right. Equipped passive skills are always applied, allowing you to change your combat style based on your selection. Okay. Skills added to quick slots can be used in combat. It's a lot of information. Only equipped weapon skills that are in quick slots can be used or applied. Press X to select the skills you want. Place the skills in a desired slot. All right. You can open help to view details. Okay. Using skills. You can use the skills. Okay. Makes sense. Now I got to go look at all these skills. What is this? Block blade. So this is for defending. I'm assuming this is for defending. What's cleave moonlight? Charges towards the target in three meters to attack all nearby targets in a uh, 1.5 meter radius three times. Each attack deals 110 percent of base damage. The number of attacks increase up to four times upon the offhand's activation. Shadow Strike moves behind the target and deals to another base damage. Has another 50 chance to find the target for two seconds. Inject Venom, which is something that sounds more cool to me. Coastal Daggers of Poison for nine seconds to apply weakening poison to all following attacks. What's that for base damage? Each second per stack, six seconds. Damage increased by 60% against monsters. The damage decreases target's health regen by 4%. Strikes the target to deal 450 of base damage plus 92 damage and momentarily increase the critical damage by 20%. The damage increase. I'm assuming there's going to be like an ideal move, right? got an 18 second cooldown you got a six second cooldown is it six mana 60 mana 120 mana i think for now this is probably my better option like that's cool but i'm not using it no time soon right Then we'll put that in there. But if I can still choose it. Let's see what these are real quick. Torch of Despair. Oh, Touch of Despair. Inflicts Weakening Curse. This is my magic. Which needs to go over here. Okay, so I get all four of these skills regardless right now. Okay, 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 okay. And I think I want... That one to be there. This one to be here. And this one to be here. And then these are my mage abilities. 
which deal 25 percent of base damage plus nine over nine seconds and increase basic attack damage on the target by 10 stacks stacked up to three times using this using this skill on a target with three stacks increases the debuff all right first explosion deals 20 to the radius if the target is, is under the effect of the user's curse damage over time and you remain burning okay restores health equal to 310 base damage all right corrupted magic circle creates a five meter area the location inflicts all right okay healing magic goes there basic curse goes here Guess this is going in triangle. I mean, I'm, assu I'm assuming this really doesn't matter right now because I'm going to end up changing it. Okay, now what do I do? I can't choose any of that because I don't have it unlocked yet. R1. Alright. Don't have to worry about that. I don't know if I did everything. Practice dummies. Okay, so that text attacking by itself. Hey, like that, it suits you. Okay. Shall we go to Moonshade Town? No, oh, wait. Okay, so that is my... Then if I switch... Do I have to do this... The skills for... The mage? Like, I didn't see that. Whoa, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. They're right there. Okay. Ground direction skills. A skill you use by directing it. You can use skills against the current target by... Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I'm learning a whole lot really fast. I'm not going to remember none of it. Maybe it's because of the current equipped weapon. All right. So if I do R1, right? Okay. Looking at the skills, I think I want I think I want to change some stuff around. This is clearly got to be X, right? And then No, no. This has to be X. This goes here. Big hit here. I wasted a whole lot of time here, but I think that's how I wanted to be. So I go here, quote, jump behind him, big hit, weapons. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm a stickler about these things. I really am. Ah. I mean, there's still so much, right? But to get it right now matters. All right, I think that's good. Duval, we're going to Moonshade Town. Can you open the gate? Sure, Lottie. You'll have a good view of Whisperian on the. I'm getting bored of guarding the gate. Either, I'll just... Oh. All right. We spent too much time. Should we hurry? Whenever Gigantrite visits Whisperian, 
The town buzzes with excitement and energy. During such an event, you and Lottie left Whisperian's fortress to visit Moonshade Town. She almost got hit by a meteor. What's going on here? Let's go and check it out. I'll go over first. Follow me with your piton and grappling hook. The who? The watchtower was destroyed by an attack. Although the path was now blocked, you and Lottie made use of the piton and your grappling hooks to continue onward. It's a piton. It looks like the cart was destroyed by artillery. Hope could be attacking. So the first bit of combat. Oh no. I see a lot of black mitrans. Let's take care of this quickly. Think it to my face now. What's the reason? Look for an opening for a counter attack. Give it. Oh, I can't. I can't parry, obviously. Huh. Can I dodge? I want to, I want to, ah, I really want to look at my controls. I'm stickler about my controls. They, I mean, they make or break a game. They determine on how successful you'll be with the game, how much fun you'll have, and like, oh, if I can't parry, then can I dodge? I, I have to look at it. I have to look at it. Where, what is all this? I'm gonna assume it's under settings. Controller. L1 is to defend. I don't have that option. What about in skills? Do I have an L1 option? Oh, uh oh. Oh, the oh. Okay, 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 okay. I had to change it and never changed it. Defend against attacks on defending against a fury attack while stationary. 180 mana regen on defending against a fury attack within five seconds. Block blades change. To poison daggers for three seconds. Wraith attacks cannot be defended. Using use with directional buttons to defend against attacks with while moving four meters to the designated direction. Oh man. Poison dagger. Throw up to five daggers at enemies within five meter radius. That's that. The the one second 35 mana mobility survival general defend against attacks on defending against a fury attack curse skills remaining cooldown decreased by eight uh, point eight seconds and touch of the fury is applied to all enemies within a three meter radius from the target on defending against a fury attack within 0.5 seconds chaotic shield changes to healing spells three seconds Healing spell restores counter spells. Regen mana. Mana. So this is just straight regen? No attack? I'm I'm still gonna go with this for now. 
There's my block. Oh, probably shouldn't keep doing it, huh? All right, what am I doing? Speak to Loretta. It's not giving me the option to speak. The polylift is broke. We can't get to Asperian with this. This lift would let us cross Wisperian to get to Moonshade Town. It's the only way to get there without a boat. This is bad. Bermetz is here. Maybe he has an idea. I will try to find a way. You go ahead and take care of the injured. Bermetz, I'll help the resistance soldier in, in need. Well, between the two of us, we'll have it fixed in no time. Shall we get started? I still fuck. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Whisperian was hit too. Can you check it out? Oh no, Wisp. Well, the server name that I chose at the beginning. It's like the world name too. So it goes beyond just the name of a server, which is pretty cool. I feel sorry for anybody that has motion sickness. Well, I'll get some more uh, practice in combat. on your way to Asperian. While Asperian was still intact, a broken pulley lift prevented you from reaching Moonshade Town. Suddenly, a mysterious being bathed in light appeared and led you to the top of the great tree. Alright. I'm going slow through the dialogue, so in case you guys wanted to read it, you could. Can't guarantee you throughout the series I'll still be going this slow. At the gelding platform, double jump with X to use Morph Glide. I'm assuming that's not where I'm... Is it... Oh, no, 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 no. Go through here first. Double jump with X to morph block. Right here. Oh. Kyra, Clay, there are still people in the town. Oh no. We need to rescue them. Well, we can't, Kyra. It's too risky. That ain't what I wanted to do. Descend by holding back. Damn it. Oh, With the pulley destroyed. Reinforcements All right. reach us. Is there some way? Oh, someone's coming. These controls, I'm gonna tell you right now, not cool. You, how did you get here? They're not smooth. I the pulley lift was broken. I don't really understand what you're saying. But if you got here with the glide morph, you must have the power of a star fragment. I hear that those with the power of a star fragment can communicate with mysterious entities. Ah, forgive me. My name is Clay Cantan, from the Resistance. For some reason, you seem kind of familiar. Oh, I see. You escaped with me. I'm 
I'm glad to see you're safe. But now's hardly the time to chat. For now, will you lend us your strength? Thank you. Captain Kyra and I will fight the Archean forces on this side and find a way to get in. We'll need you to go into town and rescue the residents with the resistance. Oh. Alrighty then. That person should be dead. Please be careful. When this is over, let's be sure to meet again. After arriving on top of the great. Is he dead? He's stuck behind a fence. Where? I'm trying to. No, no. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. We're gonna check out some of this. Oh. I don't know how I feel about that. And parry. Perfect. Parry. Tell you the combat it feels weird. I've got this. Fear of fury. This, this is how you know when you're playing a game that probably was designed for PC. It's like all those would be buttons. Now my left, let's say my left trigger was my my daggers and my right trigger was my wand skills that might be actually a little bit more easy than going r1 and r2 See this I have to select my target. And I'll clear the way here as well. It's weird. Versus it just attacking. I have to like select my target to attack. It's very different on how like RPG G games like this work. My first boss fight. R2. That's a curse on him. All right. I missed that. I don't know if I need health, but I'm gonna heal myself anyways. Curse you back up. Got out of that. Block that. Curse again. Man, there's a lot going on. Curse, explosion, perfect parry on that. See, I don't have a way to 
dodge or anything. Oh wait, I can't just block. Alright. Heal. Perfect. So I didn't get it. Do I not have stamina or something? I know I'm hitting that. Trying to go, trying to fight the guy. Did we get him? No. Yes. Maybe, I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm asleep. Tell a, a pretty good story, though. Very cinematic. I'm sorry, child. Children, this way. What in the Harry Potter did he just do? Hey, hey, wake up. That's strange. I wasn't told about any serious injuries. <clears throat> hey, are you awake? Do you recognize me? Oh, nice. You wait here. I'll call the healer now. My mommy. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's that's pretty much a decent spot here. Now challenges the might of the Arkham Legion. Starborn bravery and determination, forged in celestial fire. Not a whole lot of crazy gameplay going on, but just a very decent intro. So went in there, did the character selection, do the character creation. Uh, I did cut, but. I'm gonna, we'll add that into the video so you guys can see all the different options and whatnot that I went through to make my character the way it is. Like I said, the backstory for my character that I'm going for, um, as if you guys see me in any RPG games that I've ever played, I always go with the red cat eyes. That's what I went for. And I went for this mage that had a lot of wisdom, so that's why I went with the gray slash white. And I just thought the cut was decently cool. I'm gonna be playing as this melee assassin wizard, which I've never seen anything like that in any RPG, really. It's either one or the other. The combat in the game feels weird right now. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot, obviously. 
It could be just weird because different is definitely different. The flying with the hawk? Oh, that is crazy. I'm sure there's some settings somewhere that I can make it feel smoother. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned for the next one, which will be getting into a whole lot more combat. Hopefully, a whole lot more into the story. Be more playing, let less menus. Hopefully, it picks up a little bit. I'm assuming they gave us all the information that we're ever going to need in this game, like right now with some here and there throughout the game. But there was a oh, information overload at the very beginning of this game. They could have spread that out. But it is what it is. I'm your host, Nubin Hard. You guys have been tuning into the Nubin Network. Catch you in the next one.